Hello, I want to tell you thank you for coming in to our medical biller interview. We really appreciate you being here today and taking the time to spend with us. My name is John Blyce. This is Mark and this is Mary. I will be asking the questions. They will be taking notes. Do not become alarmed because they're taking notes. It's just part of the process. One thing I'll tell you, we are not here to give you a hard time or to trip you up. We really are here to see what kind of fit you would be for the company. Okay, now without further ado, let's get into our interview. So can you explain the revenue cycle in medical billing? Yes, the revenue cycle. Can you explain that to me, please? Okay. Okay. And how do you ensure accurate coding in medical billing? Yes. Okay. Uh, what steps do you take to verify insurance information? Yes. Okay. Tell me, how do you handle denied claims? Claims that are denied, how do you handle that? Uh-huh. Okay. And tell me the difference between an ICD-10 code and a CPT code. What's the difference, please? Okay. All right. How do you stay updated um, on changes in medical billing regulations? Yeah, they do change, <laughs> right. But how do you stay updated, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, describe your experience with electronic health record systems. Okay. Oh, two years ago. Okay, thank you. Okay. And how do you handle patient billy inquiries and concerns? Right, okay. Okay. Uh, what measures do you take to ensure compliance with healthcare privacy regulations? Okay. And how do you prioritize and organize your workload in a fast paced? medical building environment. How do you do that? Okay, thank you. And do you have any questions for us? Thank you. Okay, as I said earlier, my name is John Wise Jones. I've been doing this for about, gosh, many years now. So um, the reason why on the, on the medical builder interview are most interviews that I do, I'm not Mr. Hardcore, mm. hard face, no because I see many of my colleagues are really bringing the human element into interviewing now. We smile now too. We like to engage with our uh, interviewees now. It's not such a regulated, hardcore situation anymore. Even if you're not hired, you're still treated like a human being with some little bit of laughing here and there and you know a little bit lighter approach to the interviews. I do that at all my interviews and a lot of my colleagues do the same thing too. So before we get into the first question and answer, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. These take a while to make and a long time to edit, so I would really appreciate your being here. Also via your subscription, your like and comment. Okay, thank you. First question was, can you explain the revenue cycle in medical billing, okay? My answers come from over 432 different medical billers with these answers, okay? I make it into one big answer, and that's how I do it. The reason why is because I'm not a medical, medical biller, nor have I ever been a medical biller. But these questions were designed to be very specific towards your job as a medical builder to prepare you the best I can with these billing questions, okay? So here we go. So can you explain the revenue cycle in medical billing? The revenue cycle in medical billing involves the entire process from the point a patient makes an appointment to the final payment. It includes patient registration, insurance verification, charge capture, claim submission, payment posting, denial management, and patient billing. That's the answer, okay? There we go. It's a process, obviously. How do you ensure accurate coding and medical billing? Great question, especially these days, right? I work in hospitals. I know this happens a lot. So here we go. Accurate coding in cru is crucial in medical billing to prevent claims denials. I ensure accuracy by staying updated on coding guidelines, 
using reputable code books and software and regularly participating in coding training and education. That's going to impress the, the team because you're saying you keep yourself updated all the time on your own fruition, on your own interest, right? That's a very good way to answer that question. What steps do you take to verify insurance information? Again, they're trying to avoid confusion, right? Errors and stuff like that, right? So they're asking, what steps do you take? I verify insurance information by contacting the insurance provider to confirm coverage, check eligibility, and determine any pre-authorization requirements. This helps prevent claim rejections and ensures accurate billing. That's a great answer, guys. Okay, very thorough answer. How do you handle denied claims? Great question, right? When a claim is denied, I first identify the reason for the denial. I then address the issue, whether it's correcting coding errors, obtaining additional documentation, or appealing the denial. Timely and thorough follow-up is essential. Very responsible response to that question, right? It's a... This is one thorough person who will be an excellent biller, obviously, for the company, just by the way they answer that question, okay? Number five was explain the difference between ICD-10 and CPT coding, right? Codes. What's the difference, right? ICD-10 codes are international classification of diseases are used to describe a patient's diagnosis while... CPT codes, current procedural terminology, are used to represent medical procedures and services performed. Now, I know you guys know this answer, but what I like about this, the, the way they answered this question was that they broke down the acronym, right? ICD, CPT. Well, for a person like myself, yeah, I work in hospitals, but I come across so many acronyms in a day, I'm not always sure. So, to break apart that acronym in your interview is what I would strongly recommend because not everybody there is going to be a hospital professional. Sometimes they bring in wild cards on purpose, okay? Make sure you speak human at these, at these meetings, okay, that everybody can understand you. Break apart the acronyms when you can, okay? There we go. How do you stay updated on changes in medical billing regulations? I stay updated by subscribing to JobWise Drones. <laughs> <laughs> and hitting confident like. <laughs> I got you, didn't I? <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. So, <laughs> how do you stay updated on changes in medical billing regulations? Good question, right? I stay updated by regularly attending workshops, webinars, and conferences. Additionally, I subscribe to industry newsletters, participate in professional associations, and maintain active memberships to access the latest information. Great answer, right? Great answer. Here we go. Describe your experience with electronic health record systems, EHR, right? Health record systems, right? I have extensive experience with various EHR systems, including data entry, retrieving patient information, and ensuring accurate documentation for billing purposes. I am proficient in navigating EHR platforms to streamline billing processes. What a beautiful, eloquent, focused type answer to the question, okay? How do you handle patient billing inquiries and concerns? Great question, right? I approach patient billing inquiries with empathy. Now, a lot of my billing people who I sent these uh, surveys out to to give me the answers for this interview process, a lot of them were saying empathy. I love that. So again, I approach patient billing inquiries with empathy and transparency. I love those answers, empathy and transparency. It's like, thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I provide clear explanations of charges help patients understand their insurance coverage and work with them to establish payment plans if needed. Effective communication is key. What an empathetic answer to give. I love that answer. That's going to kill it in an interview, okay? <clears throat> Number nine, what measures do you take to ensure compliance with healthcare privacy regulations? 
I prioritize privacy by strictly adhering to HIPAA regulations. Again, spell it HIPAA. What's the acronym for? If you don't know, let me know. But you should know. Whatever it is, spell it out. I know what it is. I want you to know what it is. We answer that question, spell it out, break apart that acronym, okay? It should not be an acronym. Speak English, people, okay? Very basic human, okay? That's all you got to do. I maintain confidentiality, secure electronic and paper records, and ensure that all teams are trained on privacy practices to prevent unauthorized access to patient information. So you're saying you're making sure all teams are trained. So what are you saying to the interview panel? You're saying that I am taking responsibility, right? Because you're saying you make sure all your colleagues are trained. It's a beautiful answer, right? How do you prioritize and organize your workload in a fast-paced medical billing environment? Great question, right? I prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance. I use organizational tools such as task lists and calendars and leverage time management techniques to ensure that deadlines are met and work is completed efficiently. Beautiful answer, okay? So, I've been doing interviewing for more than 25 years. This medical billing interview is really focused like a laser beam on medical billing questions. Now, if you want to interview a video about, you know, why are you here for this company? What makes you want to come work for us? You know, Things like that, the more basic type stuff, I can do that too. If you ask me below in the comments, I'll do it for you. If you don't ask, I'm not going to do it. Okay, but um, this billing interview was it took, it's, it's, it's the result of four months because I sent a survey out last September asking medical billers that I knew in the field, hey, send me some top 10 questions for my people on my videos, you know? And this was a compilation. So I broke down 400 plus responses into 10 10 questions here for you guys, okay? I love doing this stuff. If, if one of you is successful in your interview process because of me, man, I feel so good. I'm like, yes, I helped out somebody just a little bit, right? This is what I do. This is my mojo, you know? So if you have any questions at all, let me know. Please subscribe. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Comment, like, whatever. Take care. Have a good day.